subscriber. Ah! What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube. My name is Dominique for those of you who do not know me and if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Make sure you go ahead and hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button and if you are an oldie but a good goodie, special welcome back to you. You made it back to another video and I really do appreciate it but before we go ahead and get into the video, I just hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving break. I hope everyone spent time with their families and I just hope that you guys ate, you filled your stomach, you farted, and then you ate again because that's exactly what I did. But um, I do want to come on, on here and say I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving because I definitely did. After my eight-hour shift, I did end up working on Thanksgiving, but it is okay because I came home to my family. I came home to my boyfriend, and we ate, we laughed, and yeah, it was an amazing Thanksgiving this year as it is every year but guys if you are interested in how i got this look then make sure you stay tuned and y'all don't mind me and my hair i just came back from the hair salon so i'm really like feeling myself right now and my hair like super bouncy so yeah but y'all let me just say my hair grew a lot like look look where we at now we grew a lot so <laughs> Some hair growth tips, I already did a video on that. That was actually my first video on YouTube. Make sure you go watch it, y'all, because, y'all, my hair grew. Like, if you watch the video, I told y'all my hair used to be, like, right here, and look where we at. Look where we at. We growing. We growing. But, yeah, enough about hair. If you are interested in how I achieved this look that I actually found on Pinterest, y'all, like... I was like, I want to do a chit chat, get ready with me, but I don't know what look to do. So I just went on Google and I um, Googled a look and this is what I got. This is what I came up with. I'm going to insert a picture somewhere over here. So yeah, if you like it, make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. So y'all, excuse that little shift because you know I just came from looking like that to looking like this, but... I just came from the hair salon like literally I just got home from the hair salon so I did pin up my hair and I put my little bonnet on because I need these curls to last I need my little blowout to last but I decided to do a um, chit chat get ready with me versus a um, like a talk through how I usually do my um, my makeup videos but yeah, I decided to just do this because I feel like you guys will get a chance to, like, know me this way. Because you won't get to know me unless I talk, you know. Like, duh, dom. They're not going to get to know you. But if you watch my um, other video, then you know this is the, this is the um, Too Faced Primer. And I just put this on, like, lotion. Today, guys, like I said, I already went to go get my, um, my hair done and um i have to go to work at four and it's right now it's 12 30 so my plan is to get this recorded and get um get at least another one to two videos recorded before i go to work today so let's see how that go i know for sure of course i'm gonna get this one done and Dang it, I messed this up. And I know for sure I'm going to be able to get the um, the second one done. I don't want to tell y'all what it is. I just want y'all to watch, you know? So, I don't want to tell y'all what I'm doing just yet. I want y'all to, you know, not, not like to be petty, but I want y'all to like actually have some suspense on this channel. But yeah, I have to go to work today at um four so not excited about that but it is what it is i gotta go make my money but what i am excited about is you guys me and my friends are lily excuse my child guys if you guys didn't know lily lily rude putting your tail in the camera rude if you guys didn't know um I am very special. I'm not your average human. I can give birth to cats. So that's my child. Her name is Lily. She's two years old. 
if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I love cats. Like, I'm like one of those weird cat people, but I've learned to accept who I am, okay? I learned to accept that I am going to be a cat lady. However, I'm not going to be the single cat lady on the block. I am going to be married, but I will have like 12 cats, okay? But what was I talking about? Work. But yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know, like, I adore cats. Like, oh, y'all. If y'all really, really like me, please DM me cat stuff. Like, I a lot of people that, like, I follow on Instagram and that follow me on Instagram, like, sends me cat videos cat pictures like whether they're funny whether they're cute y'all please send them to me i live for those like whenever i have a bad day i know like some people go to certain things to like make their day better and i personally go to cat videos to make me feel better okay so please send me cat videos i will appreciate it i will respond and most likely i will repost it on my story because I live for cats but okay y'all because she, now she's just being rude she know what she y'all don't listen Lily is a different type of person because she's not a cat she's a person Lily she know what she doing she knows she doing something wrong so she's about to keep doing it so I'm about to put her out the window this is why I don't have the window this is why I shut the door when she when I'm recording because she try to sit in the window and then she knows she doing something wrong so she keep doing it because she petty she's a petty child but that's how i know she mine because she petty and i'm petty so petty makes petty so there you go but y'all i keep getting off topic but yeah i have to go to work today at four or whatever don't want to go but i have to make my sh money so it is what it is so i'll be there but i want to get this stuff done but guys, oh yeah, I did go in with the precisely my brow. You know that if you watch my um, brow tutorial. So, see, now she over here playing with the little thing. The um, string to make the blonde go up. I don't see why people don't like cats. Like, they're... I don't know, some people don't like cats because they had like a cat that probably scratched them or something, but every time someone say they don't like cats, like, and they come over my house and they see Lily or like people that follow me, they'll respond back to my story like, I don't like cats, but I like your cat. And I'm like, yeah, because she a different type of, you know, she not even a cat, she's a person. She has her own little personality. But that's legit my baby, y'all. Y'all don't understand. That's really my baby. But, yeah. You guys, this weekend, me and my friends. I think that's where I actually left off at um, this weekend. Me and my friends and my boyfriend, we are actually going to Tampa to celebrate one of my best friend's. 20th birthday so that's gonna be like really fun we rented a house we did we did this once before we rented a house for um ed's birthday but this time we're renting a house in tampa for francis's birthday and we're just gonna like go chill or whatever um we also have some bush garden tickets so that's gonna be real fun I need the break I really do because the way school got me y'all one of my co-workers asked me today she's another um, good friend of mine it's Ashley she texted me today talking about girl you don't have gray hairs yet and I said sis they coming in they coming in they just a little late you want to know why my gray hair is late they late because they stress too that's why my gray hair is late. But best believe they coming in because, listen. Like, y'all, if you don't know, 
I am a um, pre-nursing student. So I am in my prereqs of nursing school. So I'm about to get into nursing school. And y'all, when I say it's no joke, like it's not, of course it's not a joke because um, of course you want, of course you want, sorry, it's my boyfriend. Of course you want um, like your nurses to know stuff, you know, like you go to the hospital and you hope you have a nurse that know what she doing. So really like being in the medical field is, it's really not a joke. It's not, it's a lot of studying. It really is. So this semester I take five classes this semester and one of them is a lab. So if you're in college, then you know labs are only one credit. Labs are only one credit versus my other classes, which are three credits or four credits, depending on which one it is. But I don't think I have any four this semester. I think I have, um, I have four threes and one one because I have one. Oh, uh, not one one. Yeah, one one because I have one lab. So, yeah, guys, and it's crazy because I think next semester. I'm actually looking at taking six classes and it's not be it's not only because I'm a nursing major but it's also because I am actually on a scholarship with my school good thing okay pros of scholarships of course um school is free yes obvious school is free books are free cool however when it comes to scholarships nine times out of ten when you're on a scholarship there's requirements you have to meet and it's requirements you have to meet to get the scholarship and there's some that you have to meet to keep the scholarship and I had both of course you had to have a certain GPA to get the scholarship cool but now you have to keep a 3.5 minimum GPA which isn't a problem because um not bragging or whatever but I got a 4.0 so that's that's not the thing but you also have to take a minimum of 12 credits pretty much saying you have to be full-time you have to be a full-time student and each semester I have to take um, two honors courses because the scholarship that I'm on is with the honors college within my school so well one of them they're within the college the honors college so I have to take honors classes and let me just say this not every class that i need is uh, is offered honors which sucks that's what really sucks because it's like not only am i trying to find classes like i'm trying to find the classes that i need of course obviously so i can graduate but i'm also trying to find them honors and since every class is not offered honors it's kind of like a praying thing like oh my gosh like i hope they have the class that i need i hope they they're offering honors or your option is to honorize the class and the one thing about honorizing a class is you um i feel like it's more work when you honorize a class because what you're doing is you're asking a professor pretty much to give you more work so it can be so it can be considered an honors course, you know? So it's not already a honors class by itself. So you have the option of taking a regular honors class or you have a option of um honorizing a class and you have to go through like this whole thing of um signing a contract. You have to go through all of this just to honorize the class and to get your honors points. And another thing is with the scholarship that I'm on, you have to take 21 credits of honors classes. And thank God, y'all, I'm already at 18. So next semester, with my last two honors courses, I'm going to be finished. I'm finished with all my honor courses. I'm done. I'm complete, which is amazing. So, yeah. So you have to go through, like, signing a contract, this, that, and the third when you try to honorize the class. 
And I'm not trying to do that. So the reason why I'm looking at six classes versus five classes like I am this semester is because I don't want to honorize a class. So the only other option is to add another class onto the classes that I'm already taking so I can meet the two um, honors classes requirement each semester. Which sucks, but you want to know what? Let me tell y'all something. Sometimes you just do, you got to do what you got to do, okay? Like... I be joking like bye bye life but listen y'all don't understand i'm trying to see rn bsn msn and freaking dmp behind my name i'm trying to see all four of those behind my name so i have to do what i have to do like seriously and i know like my mom be like don't overwork yourself and my managers be telling me the same thing they be like dom like you're still young la 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 ra 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 you're still young, like you still need to live. And I understand that. And like, I really do appreciate everybody's like concern. Um, but hold on real quick, y'all. I got fresh brushes. Look, I love when I got clean brushes. But yeah, I, I really appreciate everyone's concern. And I say that like, I really do because everyone actually cares. And I say that because everyone actually cares about my schoolwork. And my boyfriend says the same thing, like, I shouldn't overdo it. And sometimes I just overdo it. Like, seriously. But, and I, like, I try to do more than I can actually really do. Like, for instance, last week, guys, sometimes I always, I try to set high expectations. And then when it doesn't get done, like, I'm really upset at myself. When in reality, the freaking goal wasn't even, what's the word? It wasn't even, not possible, but possible. Like last weekend for Thanksgiving, I wanted to record. I wanted to do all this stuff. Mind you, I worked an eight-hour shift. So it was like dumb. It wasn't even enough like time in the day to do all of that. I don't even know why you even like try to do it. But that's I think that's one thing I really need to work on y'all but yeah so but I really like if you follow me on Instagram I really really love school like I'm a whole nerd and I have no problem in admitting it I really really love school I really do like I love the feeling of learning I love the feeling of knowing why something does what and i feel like that's another reason why i fell in love with the medical field because it's like when you're in the medical field you know why your body is doing something you know why how and if there's a problem then you know how to fix it and that's one reason why i like really really chose to be in the medical field because I don't know. I just, I love learning about the body. Like, y'all, I really be sitting in anatomy class. Like, everybody be half asleep. My professor be like, what's this? Pick me. Pick me. That's really true when people say you have to find something that you love because days that you're tired, you're going to think about why you want to do it. You're going to think about why you love it. And then you're going to get up and you're going to do it. Because there's been several days I'm like, I really don't feel like going to class. I really don't feel like doing this assignment. I really don't feel like doing this. I really don't feel like doing that. But then I just like picture myself like in the emergency room. And I picture myself like coming in and assessing a patient like, hey, not, really, this is not what you say. But pretty much it's like, hey, what's wrong? Like, what's your symptoms? And then I go to like figure out what I can do to help you and make you feel better and I don't know I just I really really love that about nursing I really do nurses and doctors are literally like freaking investigators because you just know you have a stomach ache but sis a stomach ache can mean so much other stuff so it's like now we need to run all these tests we need to like dig to the bottom and figure out what's really really wrong with you but it's amazing i'm loving the journey like some days i wake up and i'm like i'm over it i'm over it but i love it i really do i really love like what i'm doing and i love what i'm going to be doing because 
I see and I watch people who are where I want to be and I get inspired and I'm like, okay, let's go do this homework. I feel like everyone has to find someone that's where they want it. I feel like everyone needs to find somebody who's where they want to be and use them as um use them as inspiration for days where you're like I'm over everything because those the people who's gonna like really keep you I'm sorry y'all I'm trying to get this cut crease right yeah I learn and I'm sorry guys but I literally learned that life is a process Everything in life is a process. And I say a process meaning you have to, it's levels. That's what I mean. It's levels. It's like you can't just get somewhere like this. It's levels, literally. And I feel like it's levels in everything you do. Everything. So, yeah, guys, don't ever be discouraged by the process because you have to go through the process i don't want people thinking like you can just skip the process and make it somewhere you can't unfortunately you can't but i feel like the process is the place where you really you know who you learn who you are and you learn who the people are around you when you're not where you want to be, you learn yourself in the meantime. You learn who you are. You learn who the people are around you. You learn who the people... You learn... You learn about the people around you, meaning you learn if they really support you or not. You know? Like, if they really want the best for you. And I say that in, like, the nicest way possible. Because sometimes, y'all, you really just have people around you to see you fail. And they claim so much that they want the best for you. Ra, 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 ra. But in reality, they don't. They're there to see you fail. But in the meantime, they're going to act like your friend. Guys, now we starting to get somewhere. We starting to, to blend it out and we starting to get somewhere, okay? It always looked weird in the beginning, guys, I promise. And at first, I'm not even gonna lie, I started looking at it like, sis, like what's going on? But yeah, let me tell y'all, blending is the like best thing you can do because look at this dark eye. Like you have to blend this. You cannot get away with this eye without blending, okay? And then take my tape off. You have that clean look. About trying, this is the NYX and I am in the color Nutmeg. I actually had to order, I actually had to order this because um, Ulta was out of my color. 